Hey everybody, this is Bill, and I'm doing a guest battle report on Wahoo Warrior today. Um, this is a battle that Tim and I did the other day in my basement, um, <laughs> on my basement table. Um, so the terrain doesn't look quite as pretty as Sean's does, but that's okay. Um, still a battle. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Here's some of Tim's Russians. He's got a T-34 in there. And he's got a truck, he's got a couple AT rifles, a machine gun team with a, a mortar, and then uh, I think that's his uh, lieutenant there. Um, he's got a armored car, and uh, that thing's a pain in the butt. And then he's got several teams of regular dudes with um, regular soldiers with two machine guns in them. He's got a sniper. And then I think he's got his, yeah, his big rifle squad of inexperienced guys. And yeah, so just a bunch of guys and some support stuff. Um, his army looks really good. It's fully painted. Um, I am actually done painting mine, but as you will see here shortly, um, my army is not fully painted yet. Um, at least it is not fully painted as far as um, this video goes because this was a video that we made before I had finished painting it um, and even still I've got some highlights to do and some decals to apply on my army so it's not completely done but we're getting there here's some more of uh, Tim's army just showing off his machine gun teams and all of his guys and you can still see the sniper team there uh, you might hear my kids in the background because uh, they're watching Veggie Tales and hanging out while I'm making this report. So if you hear them, that's why. Um, here is my army, and uh, you can see I've got a uh, a Sherman tank, and it has a 76 millimeter gun on it. So I did that upgrade to kind of be able to hang with the German armor because a lot of their uh, armor has uh, plus six heavy anti-tank guns and I thought it would come in handy. Um, I also in my uh, list of Polish 2 core, I've got three units of just the uh, regulars and then I've got a commando uh, unit a tent of veterans there and they're also uh, tank killers. Um, I've got a Piat team inside of a Bren carrier a veteran uh, sniper squad. I've got my um, free. I've got my uh, free forward observer for artillery, and then uh, my lieutenant right there. Um, and then I've got another Bren carrier that I'm using as a rec carrier, recce. Um, so that way it can fire all of its guns all the time, and it doesn't really carry anything, but it can recce out of there if it needs to. I've got a machine gun team and a medium mortar team as well. So that kind of rounds out my list. Um, oh, in the uh, regular squads, there are three squads of 10 there of the regular squads that was on the picture before. And they, um, they each have an SMG for the NCO, one additional SMG, and a light machine gun in every squad. And the commandos actually have four SMGs and a light machine gun. Uh, there is, um, it's going to be Wojtek the bear, uh, but he's going to be like an objective marker. So I got a bear uh, miniature. He's actually way bigger than I thought he was going to be. He's like towering over my 28 millimeter minis. So I might actually get another bear model, but for right now, you know, he's cool. Um, and right now we're just using him as the objective because um, I think this is the mission where you got to get the objective off the table. Here we go! This is uh, the video starting. I'm playing this at eight times speed so that way we can actually um, talk about this and it doesn't take three hours. But um, I'm guessing we'll probably be here for about 30 minutes instead. Um, there's me just kind of placing the objective marker in the middle. I'm using one of those uh, those cool uh, objective markers that I got from that one com company, uh, Historique, that's what they're called. But yeah, it's got the Polish emblem on it. Then I put uh, Wojtek the bear on top of it. 
and now we're all just getting our reserves ready I'm pretty sure that you can only have a certain number of uh, units on for this the objective is to get to the center of the table and just take whatever objective that take that objective and move off um, he put a bunch of uh, guys there in the center in that woods that was his first draw for deployment I think it's a regular squad um, next he's uh, rolling to see or actually I think these guys are all running on first wave that's probably what's happening there that's why you know he's rolling um, but I can't remember how this worked it's been like two weeks since this game but anyway yeah we're we're advancing people on the table I moved up my machine gun team right behind that uh, ruins on the bottom right there um, I'm moving up a regular squad they're probably running yeah I think they're running on the table behind that other ruins um, behind that apartment building on the top right I put my uh, mortar team um, I know that he's got on the bottom left there another squad um, and I think he's putting his mortar team behind that other ruins on the top left so uh, Tim Tim's got his Russians going up there going for the objective um, the um, guys up there on the that I just placed they were another regular squad just running up there behind the church to use that as cover and hopefully he doesn't get any shots off he ran and uh, I think that's his uh, inexperienced rifle squad like right out in the middle so um, he doesn't care they're free uh, this is my rec carrier actually yeah I think this is my recce carrier um, so, yeah, that's either my recce carrier or the one with the Piat team in it. I can't remember at this point, but, uh, that just ran up there. It was going to take shots at first, but I didn't think I had range, but then, um, Tim did some math and was like, yeah, you totally could have done that, but whatever. I just ran it up there behind those woods. Um, my commandos are coming in. They are running as well to get up there and go after that objective, a lot of Tim's units are in cover. Um, he brought in his uh, armored car there, as you can see, and that thing is uh, going to take some shots at something. I can't remember what he touched, took shots at. Probably my recce carrier. Oh, no, he took it at the commandos and put a pin on him. So there you go. Um, then I moved in my lieutenant behind the commandos. Um, so yeah, his armored car did some pins on me, and I think that was it. Um, he moved in his machine gun team, as you can see on the uh, right, his right side of those woods. Um, I actually moved in my sniper on the edge of that, uh, um, well, yeah, right now I moved in my tank and was shooting at his inexperienced squad. I think I put a pin on it and maybe killed a guy, I can't remember. Uh, this is turn two. We're picking up everything, but I do have my sniper up there on the top right by that um, apartment complex next to the tank. So the tank is up there um, hanging out and taking pot shots at his uh, at his uh, inexperienced squad. I do think he failed his test. Um, he took a test to uh, bring in his T-34 and failed it, which you know wasn't totally a bad thing. Um, then he moved up his, uh, it looks like he moved up his armored cars, taking more shots at my commandos, which is actually a great idea because my commandos are one of the biggest threats against him. So, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, I think my Piat team at, that is in the uh, uh, Bren carrier didn't actually make it in last turn, too. They failed. Um, there's my regular squad. One of my regular squads heading up behind the church, just kind of taking cover back there. Um, here goes the commandos. I'm pretty sure that I uh, passed my test, so they're just uh, hanging out. They had two pins, now they're back down to one pin. I'm moving them up there behind the church to get, uh, you know, heavy cover, and then also uh, to get in contact with that. Um, I just ran him up there to get in contact with the objective. Now he's just kind of unloading on him this turn, and uh, this was a great move by Tim. He just started pinning my commandos to death, so that way the next turn they wouldn't be able to walk off with that objective, because that's the whole point of the game. So I moved my uh, my recce carrier up into those woods and took shots at some of his guys. Now he's just kind of 
taking shots at my commandos and and sitting back and laughing because next turn they're not going to be able to do anything. He also, I think, took a shot at my my recce carrier there. Uh, my uh, first lieutenant, I have a first lieutenant, he moved up next to uh, the commandos with his buddy there. He's always got to have a sidekick. Uh, then Tim on the top left there, you can see he's taking a squad with some machine guns and taking pot shots at my uh, sniper team over there. Um, they just moved up into those ruins and kind of got in a better position. Um, and then uh, there's one of his trucks. He brought a truck up there um, full of guys, and they just got on the table. And Yep, that was that. There in the center, you can see that truck next to his inexperienced squad. <clears throat> now I think he's shooting at my commandos again, I'm pretty sure. But I can't be certain. <laughs> yeah, his sniper is down there on the bottom left in those ruins along with another squad. And he's got an AT rifle down there too, I think. And he, he's taking shots at my recce carrier too with AT rifles. I don't think he gets it, um, but I think he may pin it at some point. My uh, regular squad moves up, um, also really close to everything going on there with the objective. I'm just kind of trying to swarm the objective. Um, and then I rolled for reserves, and then these, uh, this other, the third squad of regulars finally comes in, as you can see, um, behind everything. And then my Piat team in the uh, Bren carrier finally comes in, so I just ran them, or drove at the double, or whatever you want to call it. Drove full speed towards the church um, to kind of round the corner there. Um, he just takes one of his squads and just uh, books it over towards the objective and then starts unloading on me. Um, you know, not a bad not a bad decision. So here he is firing and, and I think he does a pin maybe. I don't know. Uh, actually, yeah, he kills a few guys. That's a bummer for me. Um, so yeah. Since I have light cover, he just unloads and kills a bunch of guys. All right, so here at double speed, I think that was just my machine gun shooting, and I took a shot at his uh, his machine gun team that moved into the woods. I don't think I hit anything though. Um, then my tank moves up. Um, I'm pretty sure I just took a shot at uh, his guys there out in the open again, just to kind of uh, try and melt that squad a little more I don't even know if I killed anybody or not but yeah but uh, he's taking shots at me with AT guns and stuff trying to pin me and then uh, yeah I think I just threw a pin on that squad it's funny how uh, terribly my dice rolled this game but you know that's something I always say <laughs> um, uh, my tank actually uh, was not very effective this game, which is kind of funny, but uh, that's all right. Now he's uh, he's coming in. Uh, I think he's going to assault me with that squad because he wants to kill a bunch of stuff. So actually, I don't think that those guys are commandos. They're just veterans. In my new list, they are commandos. But uh, this was when I was using the... Uh, I just have them modeled up as commandos, but they're actually just veterans. Um, which means they're not tough fighter in this game. Um, this was before I changed my list. Oh yeah, so he does come up and just assaults my regular squad and just kills all of them and murders them, and then he goes into the forest here. So yeah, um, he didn't want to. I think he wanted to go after my veterans, but um, I was saying like you know you got to go after the closest unit, and there was a regular guy in the way, so he'd make contact with my regular guys before he ever got to my veterans. So. But yeah, my veterans would have been a good uh, a good way to go. Um, yeah, I don't know. Apparently my tank just moved again. Either that or I didn't move it before. I don't know. Maybe this is turn three already. We're probably turn three. There's my son in the right corner, you see. He's seeing what's going on. And uh, apparently not wearing a shirt. Oh, there. I think mom just came downstairs and put a shirt on him. That's pretty great. Anyway, um, so uh, his machine gun team's shooting at my uh, not commandos that are veterans. Sorry that I said that wrong, but yeah. They're commandos in my new list, so I get confused because I changed my list since I played this last. Um, originally, I was using um, 
But yeah, he basically just pins the crap out of those veterans and they're not going anywhere. Originally, I was going to put commandos in my list because I was using the uh, Italian Theater Monte Cassino list for uh, my Polish Second Corps just because, hey, that's, you know, the famous battle that the Poles were well known for. But uh, they don't actually let you uh, include commandos, at least not on... Uh, Easy Army, they don't, in that uh, Force Selector, so I just went with a generic. Um, even though uh, there were commandos um, in the Italy Theater being uh, commanded by General Vladislav Anders, but, you know, whatever, that's fine. I mean, if they don't want to do that, I'll just make a themed list the other way. Okay, so he's moving his uh, guys up into there. I'm pretty sure when I killed one guy out of that squad, they all became regulars. They did that fun thing where it's like, oh, we're all regular now instead of um, instead of just, um, uh, you know, inexperienced. So here I am. Uh, I think I was throwing a template on him from, uh, I don't know what. It was either the, I may have hit him with the, uh, probably the mortar. So that was great, but didn't end up killing enough of them, I guess. He's swarming the objective as well. Uh, we're just both kind of going after it and trying our best. I'm pretty sure that this is the point where he comes up and, yeah, his T-34 just a minute ago, you may have seen, moved up and shot the crap out of my uh, tank. I don't know if it killed it yet or not. Um, I don't think he did kill it this turn. I think he kills it next turn. Oops, spoiler. But anyway, uh, yeah, Tim. Uh, Tim eventually, uh, you know, if he hasn't already, um, we're going so fast through this. But he eventually comes up and uh, blasts my uh, Sherman and blows it up with his T-34, which is, you know, inconvenient to say the least. Um, yeah, he's moving his trucks up, or his truck up, and he's, uh, you know, trying to get in position to block shots of mine with it, I'm pretty sure. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I moved guys around that corner. He moved guys around that church. We're just kind of going around the church. I moved my uh, my Bren carrier with the Piat team up there and took a bunch of shots at those guys that are on the other side of the woods to kind of try and pin them a little bit. Then I uh, moved my uh, Piat team out. I hit his uh, T-34, but then I failed a pen. So uh, that was kind of me just like going for broke there, um, attempting to use my Piat team to, uh, you know, take out the tank since my tank's gone and uh, you don't know how many shots you're going to get with one of those. So you got to try and make it count. And uh, I think I may have not taken the best shot I possibly could with it, but you know, whatever. There I am uh, shooting and putting more pins on his uh, team that killed my regular squad earlier that are hiding out in that center woods. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so here he goes. I'm pretty sure now he's, yeah, he's rolling up and flamethrowing and shooting the crap out of my PI team, kills them, and, uh, then he proceeds to try to murder my wreck, or my Bren carrier there, but hasn't yet. Um, and then I need to move my Bren carrier back in a way, so that way... I'm closer to my Bren carrier than he is, so it doesn't disappear, um, and all that stuff's going on, but not sure if that happens yet, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I just foobarred with all those veterans, so they run away. Uh, Tim was originally saying, hey, I think you take the objective with you when you foobar, but I was like, no way. There's no way that they would like grab that and run with it when they're panicking in fear, so uh, rather than be uh, cheesy and... Uh, eventually win the game because I had something negative happening. I argued with him against my favor, <laughs> not in my favor, and I said, hey, uh, no, let's not do that. Let's uh, say that we left it behind, which I think is the right way to play it. Um, his, uh, So yeah, my veterans, which eventually became commandos later, which was a better decision to do because Tough Fighter's awesome, and uh, they just seem to be doing better. Also, now that they're painted, they seem to be doing better because that's just how it works, right? You paint something, it does way better. Um, but he's just pinning the crap out of my, uh, or pinning the crap out of my uh, regular squad over there. Um, my other regular squad behind the church is like wondering what to do. I'm sure um, my Bren carrier is trying to do stuff. I'm pretty sure I'm just splitting fire here and shooting light machine guns at two different things. But 
Either that or I'm just melting that squad in the woods right next to him. I can't remember. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to get up into the objective here with the rest of my stuff um, and kill some guys. He's got those guys over by the church, and I'm trying to melt that squad. I'm getting pretty close now because I've been putting a lot of fire into him. Um, yeah, so... Um, there I am trying to get back up to the objective with the remainder of that squad, but I'm also trying to get within, yep. So, so I was just getting within, uh, enough. Oh, wait, yeah, no, I, I just assaulted them because they weren't actually in cover. So I didn't shoot them, I assaulted them. And I ended up killing them before they could, uh, respond. So, yay me, he assaulted me and killed the squad, I assaulted one of his squads. So that was good, so... That's right, I remember now. Here's the other squad of regulars behind that church, and they're around in the corner trying to get to the objective since everything else is running away or um, at half strength. So his truck rolls up, um, taking some shots at my dudes, putting pins on them. The usual Tim thing to do. Um, he's shooting more pins into my uh, recce carrier up there. All sorts of stuff's going on up there. So, uh, my Bren carrier up there backed up so it wouldn't disappear next turn. Um, and, like, my right flank is just in trouble because he's got a couple of squads running up into those woods and he's got that T-34 that I just have nothing to deal with right now. Uh, I think we're on turn 5 already, which is pretty cool because, look, um, look at that, the time flies. I throw my hand up to say what what uh, turn it is, and you saw I had a full hand there, so I'm guessing that was five. Um, looked like I had all five fingers up. Anyway, um, now I think it's uh, I think I got the first die of the turn, and I'm just incredibly indecisive here. But we'll see what happened. Uh, yeah, I think I just shot a few things, um, melted his squad there in the woods, got rid of him finally. He's using his truck there to block me so that I don't shoot that squad that's out in the open. He's shooting more pins at my guys. His tank is coming up. <laughs> Gonna absolutely murder my squad that's right up against the objective there. Or at least try to, I think. And then also shoot at my Bren carrier, I'm pretty sure. Or my Recky carrier, rather. There's my, uh, I think he misses though, which is kind of crazy. Like, he missed with his flamethrower, which is a thing now in 2nd edition, which is kind of cool. Um, so, something went my way there. That was nice. Um, I'm pretty sure that I just shoot a whole bunch of shots into his truck that's sitting there and just pin it, which is kind of dumb because, yeah. And there's a shot of it, like, what's going on right now. I just kind of threw that in there. I took that with my phone, which was kind of nice. It's kind of like, hey, look at all the carnage. Um, and you can kind of see my uh, first lieutenant is sitting there, which uh, later on you'll see why uh, having them just sitting in the woods is a terrible idea. But anyway, another spoiler. So I've got a lot of uh, infantry-based firepower there. And there's another shot of everything that's going on. You can see my Bren carrier backed up to kind of give cover to most of that squad that's behind the church that's wrapped around there. The other squad is right up against the objective, but they're pinned to death. Um, his uh, his armored car has actually failed a bunch of checks, so it's gone down a couple times because I pinned it a lot. And there's my son. Hey, buddy! Okay, we're, and we're back into it. Um, had to go upstairs real quick. Um, he's just shooting my guys, pinning them. You know, the usual. I think he threw a pin on my wreck carrier there. He's moving his guys toward the objective, running um, behind his T-34 there, alongside the woods. Since I'm mostly on the other side of the church now, he's not too afraid of it. Um, trying to get my vets to move. They didn't move because they are pinned to death, and they did that foo bar before, so that was a thing. <laughs> um... So we're getting to the point now where uh, the game is, uh, you know, turn five, turn six, um, shooting those pictures of how things are, you know, ending up. It looks like um, this thing's going to be a draw. I think this is turn six at this point. He's just moving his lieutenant up there in the middle. 
I've got guys in contact with the objective, but I think at the end he probably does too. I can't remember, but I think we pretty much just call it a draw. Um, but still, you know, we're going. I'm moving things up. Um, he's going to probably shoot that other unit off the objective, I think, because I've got, I think it looks like there in the center I've got my lieutenant, and I've got two different units in con base contact with it, but I'm pretty sure he shoots the crap out of at least two of those units with his T-34, so. Um, yeah, we're just keeping going here. Turn six, or maybe even still turn five, I can't remember. Man, I'm really good at these battle reports, aren't I? Anyway, um, we're getting towards the end any anywhere here. Um, but... Uh, yeah, he's yeah. That's his T thirty four. He's just taking shots. He killed my lieutenant, uh, my first lieutenant there, and then he uh, picks off a few guys, um, who are right around the corner there. So I think we end up calling the game here, and just saying, hey, that's that's good enough, because uh, we're gonna probably end up with a draw. Neither one of us is getting off the table. Sure, I had a few guys in base contact with it, but I couldn't move it because they were so pinned. And uh, if the game had gone on, his T-34 and his armored car would have eventually like wiped me out. So, um, yeah, we're just... Uh, he's just uh, lighting me up. I think this is how his armored car doing doing a number on the rest of my guys. We're just finishing it out to see just how much of my stuff he was going to pulverize. Yep. And, uh, yeah, he took out a, a guy or two there, I think. Yeah, I've got, like, two guys left. Or three guys, two or three like guys left, and I think I I stick it stick with it. But And then I think he does my Bren Carrier in, or at least pins the crap out of it. I can't remember. So we just called it at that point and said... Great game. <laughs> and there's us loading our crap up. All right, so this is a picture of my army now. Um, I just kind of wanted to actually show off a little bit of it after I got some painting done. So um, I actually do need to repaint my uh, commandos, though, because I actually put uh, black berets on them because, you know, you're looking at black and white pictures, and then you see actual color photos of... Uh, Vladislav Anders and he has a black beret but um, apparently they had dark green berets so I'll repaint that and make those dark green before long. I'll probably make the NCO uh, black beret just because it seems like uh, the uh, uh, special forces and then you know um, generals and everybody else had black berets while everybody else had green. Um, and here's uh, some more shots of my army. I'm just kind of, I still got to throw some highlights on them and everything, but, uh, you know, uh, they're, they're not too bad. I mean, if I had to go to Adepticon tomorrow in a pin pinch, they'd work, but I still want to touch them up a little bit, give them a little more, a little more character. The tanks still need a lot of work, but uh, that M10 is going to be fun. I'm using that in a Tank Wars tournament in a couple of days. Or not a couple of days in a in a few weeks, but uh, and there's uh, the Bren carriers after I got them painted. Those turned out really good. I'm very happy with those, and they're pretty cool little models. I like them. And uh, then yeah, there's the tank after it got painted. Anyway, thanks for listening. I'm really glad to uh, be able to do a uh, battle report. And uh, yeah, hopefully next time I'll have a much more detailed and cool battle report this is kind of just a quick and easy one but uh, i appreciate it hopefully you enjoyed listening to me banter while we ended up in a draw all right have a good one bye